ओम शांति दिस इज द साकार मुरली ऑफ फोर ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन नेवर रिमेंबर दिस फिजिकल बॉडी ब्रैकेट्स ब्रह्मा ऑल दो योर आईज सी दिस वन यू हैव टू रिमेंबर से बाबा द सुप्रीम टीचर question by understanding which law can you children not accept any flowers or garlands at this time answer you know that only those pure souls whose bodies are also pure are worthy of receiving flowers and garlands therefore in accordance with this law you cannot accept flowers or garlands Baba says I too cannot accept your flowers and garlands because I neither become worthy of worship nor a worshipper I am your obedient father and teacher Song leave your throne in the sky and come down to earth Om Shanti you sweetest beloved long lost and now found children heard the song This song finishes the concept of omnipresence. You recall that Bharat has now become very unhappy. All of those songs have been composed according to the drama. People of the world do not know this. Bracket songs. The father has come to purify the impure. That is, he has come to liberate unhappy people from their sorrow. he comes to remove sorrow and bestow happiness you children have now received recognition and have come to know that the same father has come he himself sits here and explains i enter an ordinary body and tell you children the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of the whole world there is only the one world it simply becomes new and old just as a body is new in childhood and then becomes old you would not say that there are two bodies a new body and an old body there is just one body which simply changes from new to old in the same way there is only one world and from new it has now become old however No one can tell you when it was new. The father comes and explains, children, when the world was new, Bharat was new. It was called the golden age. That same Bharat has now become old, and this is called the old world. From the new world, it has become the old world. It definitely has to become new again. some children have had visions of the new world acha who were the masters of that new world it must definitely have been lakshmi and narayan the original eternal deities were the masters there it is the father who is explaining to you children the father says now constantly remember that the father has come from the supreme abode to educate you by teaching you raj yoga all praise belongs to the one alone there is no praise of this one brackets brahma at this time everyone's intellect is degraded no one understands anything at all this is why i have come and this song has been composed this song finishes the concept of omnipresence Each one has his own part to play. The father repeatedly says, "Renounce body consciousness, become soul conscious, and remember Sri Baba." Just consider Sri Baba to be doing everything, and that Brahma is not present. Although your eyes can see this one's form, your intellect should be drawn to Sri Baba. If it were not for Sri Baba this soul and body would be of no use at all 
Always consider Sri Baba to be in this one and teaching you through him. This one brackets Brahma is not your teacher. That one is the supreme father. That one is the supreme teacher and it is him you have to remember. Never remember this body. When you connect your intellects in yoga to the father, there is no longer the concept of omnipresence. Children remember him and ask him to come and teach them knowledge and yoga once again. No one except the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul can teach Raj Yoga. It is, the, it is in the intellects of you children that the Father himself speaks the knowledge of the Gita. This knowledge then disappears. Once the kingdom has been established, and everyone has attained salvation there is no need for it knowledge is given in order to take souls from degradation into salvation everything else belongs to the path of devotion chanting tapasya penance and charity etc whatever they do it all belongs to the path of devotion no one can meet me by doing that the wings of souls are broken Souls have become like stone, so I have to come to change them from stone and make them divine. The father says, look how many people there are. It is as though the world is as full of human beings as there are mustard seeds. They are all going to be destroyed. There aren't that many human beings in the golden age. There are plenty of material comforts and very few people in the new world. Here there are so many human beings that there isn't even enough food to eat. The earth is old and barren. Later it will become new again. There everything is new. Even the name heaven, paradise is so sweet. It is a new world of deities. There is the desire to demolish the old home and sit in the new one. There is now just the desire to go to the new world of heaven. This old body has no value at all. Say Baba doesn't have a body. Some children say that they want to garland him. However, if you garland him, your intellects yoga will go to the this one. Say so Baba says, I have no need of garlands. You are the ones who become worthy of worship and you are the ones who become worshippers. Therefore, you begin to worship your own images. Baba says, neither do I become worthy of worship nor do I need to have flowers etc. Why should I wear them? Therefore, he never accepts flowers. You can accept as many flowers as you like when you become worthy of worship. I am the most obedient father, teacher and servant of you children. When great or royal people sign their names, they write Minto or Kurjan, brackets British Viceroys. They never write Lord so and so. Whereas here they write Sri Sri Lakshmi Narayan or Sri so and so, they clearly write the word Sri. So the father sits here and explains to you children, children do not remember this body, have the faith that you are souls and remember the father. In this old world both souls and bodies are impure, when the gold is 9 carat, the jewelry would also be nine carat. Alloy is mixed into the gold. Therefore, do not consider souls to be immune to the effects of action. Only you have this knowledge. You attain your reward in the golden age for 21 births. And so how much effort you should make? However, you children repeatedly forget that Sib Baba is giving you these teachings through Brahma. The Brahma soul also remembers him. 
all devotees remember the one god however because they have become tamo pradhan they have forgotten the father and started worshiping stones pebbles and everything else we understand that whatever takes place in sort in the drama once the shooting of a drama has taken place for instance a bird or something flying past that is what will be repeated in that particular scene if a butterfly flies by while shooting is taking place that too will continue to repeat therefore this drama also continues to repeat second by second it continues to be shot this drama is preordained and predestined and you are the actors you watch the whole drama as detailed observers every second passes by according to the drama if a leaf moves that happened according to the drama it is not that each leaf moves according to god's order all of that is fixed according to the drama this has to be explained very clearly the father comes and teaches you raj yoga and gives you the knowledge of the drama the pictures that have been made are very good even the hand brackets of the clock is also shown at the confluence age it is the confluence of the end of the iron age and the beginning of the golden age there are now innumerable religions in the old world they will not exist in the new world you children should always should always consider it to be the father who is teaching you we are godly students god speaks i make you into kings of kings even the kings worship lakshmi and narayan i am also the one who makes them worthy of worship those who were worthy of worship have now become worshipers you children now understand that we were the ones who were worthy of worship and that we are the ones who later became worshipers baba does not become this according to the law you cannot accept flowers or garlands etc only those pure souls whose bodies are also pure have the right to accept flowers there in heaven there are only fragrant flowers flowers are there for you to take their fragrance flowers are also used for making garlands the father says you children are now becoming the garland around vishnu's neck you have to sit on the throne number wise to whatever extent you made effort in the previous cycle so you are accordingly doing that now and will continue to do so although that too is number wise the intellect says that such and such a child is very serviceable just as in a shop someone is the owner someone else becomes his partner and another becomes the manager so it is the same here you children have to gain victory over the mother and father you are wonder struck as to how you can go ahead of the mother and father the father makes effort and make the children worthy of claiming the throne this is why he says that you win his throne you gain victory over each other do you not make so much effort that you become narayan from an ordinary human there is only one aim and objective it is said that a kingdom is being established but within that there is a variety of status make full effort to conquer maya take care of your children etc with a lot of love but as trustees on the path of devotion you used to say god everything has been given by you if he reclaims his property there is no question of crying over that however this is a world of tears 
Human beings who relate stories also tell a story about the king who conquered attachment. There, no one feels sorrow. They save their bodies and take others. There is never any illness there. Bodies remain ever healthy and free from disease. Some children have had visions of everything. How marriage etc. takes place there. What kind of costumes they wear and what customs and systems they have. That part has now passed. At that time, you didn't have as much knowledge. Now, day by day, you children are receiving a great deal of power with full force. This part is also fixed in the drama. It is a wonder that even the supreme soul has such a huge part. He himself sits here and explains, Although I only come down once every cycle, I sit in Brahmand and do a great deal of work. I only come once in a cycle. There are many worshippers of the incorporeal one. But they have lost the knowledge of how the incorporeal Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul comes and teaches. Because they have put Sri Krishna's name in the Gita. Their love for the incorporeal one has been broken. It was the Supreme Soul who taught easy Raja Yoga and showed that to the world. The world continues to change. The ages also continue to change. You have now come to understand the cycle of this drama. Human beings do not know anything at all. They don't even know the deities of the golden age. Only signs of the deities remain. The father explains, always consider yourselves to belong to Sib Baba and that Sib Baba is teaching you. When you realize that Sib Baba is giving you teachings through this body of Brahma, you will experience a great deal of pleasure in remembering Sib Baba. Who else could be called God, the father? He is the father as well as the teacher. However, it is not possible for those fathers to be gurus. A father can also be a teacher, but he could never be called a guru. This once, brackets Brahma Baba's father, was a teacher and used to teach. I also used to study. That is a limited father and teacher. This one is the unlimited father and teacher. Even if you consider yourselves to be godly students, that too is great fortune. God the Father is teaching you. It is so clear. He is such a sweet father. Sweet things are always remembered. A lover and beloved have love for each other. Their love is not impure. They just continue to look at one another. That's all. However, your love is love of the soul for the Supreme Soul. The soul says, Baba is such an ocean of knowledge and ocean of love that he enters into this impure body and makes us so elevated. There is also a song that says, It didn't take God long to change human beings into deities. You go to heaven in a second. You become deities from human beings in a second. This is the aim and objective for which you have to study. Guru Nanak said, God washes all the impure clothes. His soap is lux, brackets lutch, aim. Baba says, I am such a great laundry man. I make your clothes, brackets soul and body completely clean. Have you ever seen such a laundry man? I make souls that have become totally dirty so clean with the power of yoga. So never remember this one, brackets Dada. This whole task is Sib Baba's. Therefore remember him. He is sweeter than this Brahma. He tells you souls, although your eyes see the chariot of this Brahma, 
यू हैव टू रिमेंबर सिप बाबा सिप बाबा इज मेकिंग यू वर्क डायमंड फ्रॉम सर्स थ्रू दिस वन अच्छा टू दि स्वीटेस्ट बिलवेड लॉन्ग लॉस्ट एंड नाउ फाउंड चिल्ड्रन लव रिमेंबरेंस एंड गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रॉम दि मदर दि फादर बाप दादा दि स्पिरिचुअल फादर इज नमस्ते टू दि स्पिरिचुअल चिल्ड्रन एंड दि स्पिरिचुअल चिल्ड्रन इज नमस्ते टू दि स्पिरिचुअल फादर essence for dharna number 1 remain constantly aware that you are godly students and that god the teacher is teaching you while living at home become a complete trusty second never accept any flowers or garlands at this time in order to become the garland around bishnu's neck make effort to gain victory over maya blessing may you be a successful image who is loved by everyone with your special virtue of you first the virtue of making one another go ahead that is of you first makes you loved by everyone on this spiritual path and in your interactions with everyone this is the father's main virtue the father say children you first so follow the father in this virtue this is the way to achieve success those who are loved by the father and the brahmin family and who love serving the world are ever ready slogan make the treasure of knowledge your own with churning power and obstacles will bid you farewell slogan make the treasure of knowledge your own with churning power and obstacles will bid you farewell ओम शांति